the West manufactures Russia default. G7 nations strike deal on Russian oil price cap. Iran and Argentina eyes BRICS. In what has been described as an embarrassing move by some financial analysts, the West has announced a Russian default, despite payments having been made on time. The default claims come hot on the heels of the confiscation of approximately $300 billion of Russian assets in foreign banks. All bond payments were made on time, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov confirms. Russia has fulfilled its eurobond obligations to foreign investors, and the fact that the funds were not forwarded to recipients due to Ukraine-related sanctions is no reason to declare a default, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters on Monday. No, we don't agree, Peskov said when asked by a reporter to comment on a report by Bloomberg claiming that Russia had defaulted on its debt for the first time since 1918. Peskov said that such claims are absolutely unjustified since the payment on the eurobonds was made well before the deadline in mid-May. And the fact that Euroclear withheld this money, did not transfer it to the recipients, this is no longer our problem. That is, there is no reason to call this a default, Peskov explained. In a move to expand sanctions, leading Western economies want to limit Moscow's revenue from crude sales. The Group of Seven, G7, leading Western economies reached an agreement on Tuesday to set a price cap on Russian oil exports, Politico reported, citing unnamed officials. The details of the agreement have not been revealed. However, according to the story, the US suggested lifting sanctions on insurance for ships that transport Russian oil only if countries agreed to buy it at a settled maximum price, thus enforcing a price cap. G7 member states also rejected the idea of a worldwide price cap on oil prices, proposed by French President Emmanuel Macron on Monday. The proposal was reportedly waived by the US and Germany, and France had agreed to withdraw it. The agreement comes as Western countries are trying to deal with rising energy prices and inflation as a result of their sanctions and embargoes on Russian oil. While the restrictions are aimed at depleting the Russian war chest, allegedly used to fund the ongoing military operation in Ukraine, Moscow has been earning more money from its energy exports than prior to the sanctions due to higher prices. Iran and Argentina see potential in Brazil Russia India China South Africa bloc, and officially applies to join. The Islamic Republic of Iran has officially submitted its application to join the group of five leading economies made up of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, the foreign ministry in Tehran announced on Monday. The move comes after the Iranian president addressed the BRICS summit last week. While BRICS is not a treaty bloc, it has a very creative mechanism with broad aspects, Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesman Saeed Khatibzadeh said on Monday, according to the Tasnim news agency. He added that Tehran has already had a series of consultations with BRICS about the application. Iran's membership would add value for everyone involved, said Khatibzadeh, noting that BRICS members account for up to 30% of the world's GDP and 40% of the global population. This channel is dedicated to providing you with news, global events, and analysis in an unbiased, easy to understand manner, excellent for getting quick updates and insights, and for educational purposes. If you get some value out of this video, please consider helping us. Give a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when new content is released.